All right. So what's next? Skeletron, or do you want to do Queen B? I would do Queen B first, because All right, so yeah, expert Skeletron is going to be really hard. I mean, we can always just do the minecart uh, cheese. I mean, I, I would probably prefer that we try not to cheese him first and then see how it works. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, then we cheese him. Yeah, so my strategy for Expert Skeletron is to use the B weapons and the Star Cannon. <laughs> yeah, there's a few options. Yay, I can get the Health Forge. Hooray. Yeah, bring one of those back if you can. I am. That's what I want. Nice. Also, if you happen to be down there, get some Hellstone and or... There's a bit of obsidian in one of the, in the Orn Bars chest now. Ooh, I just saw like a flaming meteor in the background. That means the meteor, that means the meteorite Maybe. event is probably gonna spawn. Yeah, I was thinking. Yep, meteorite there has landed, go. there it is. Who wants to go search for it? I mean, I could go. I have nothing better to do. No. So, how about we do two teams? <laughs> yeah, I'm already heading right. It does not seem to be on the right. Okay. Well, George and I are still just making our way across the corruption, so... I guess if we don't see it near the surface, then we'll have to assume that it's down one of the chasms. Oh, here it is. Oh, like here? Yeah, found it. Basically just past all the chasms. So... Um, so bombs don't work anymore, right? Nope. I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already knew that, but... Okay, so we're actually going to need to mine this out, which is going to be fun. I'm gonna come over to help you guys mine it. Okay. Ah, uh, what the hell is that? Yeah, also the meteorite will burn you when you land on it. <laughs> well, that's why I use a system of ropes to, to mine. Yeah. I'm working on it. I guess at least, oh, you <laughs> beamed right onto it. Yeah, I forgot I had them. <laughs> Oops. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna shoot the meteorites while you guys mine all the shit. Yeah, okay. Stupid shark thing is in my way. <laughs> Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so. It's now safe to stand at the bottom of the rope. That is quite the system of rope. Oh, that counted as me somehow. Yeah, if you put that banner up, we can probably do more damage. Yeah, so we have this just about done to the point where... Yeah, I was gonna say those guys should stop spawning. I think they have. Yeah, we're... Nice. I'm seeing, uh, yeah, regular people. All right, I'm gonna go. Work tells on fire. I'm gonna head back and check to see where the merchants got. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're done over here. It's quite the giant uh, web of ropes and vine ropes. Like I think that Phil should probably get the meteorite set, just it's because of too. the extra damage. Yeah, but it doesn't have the bonuses for mana and stuff, that's the only problem. I'd lose, like, 20 mana, 4% crit, and a defense to gain 7% damage. Hmm. Which, I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, that's a good question. If I, I, the other upside of if I got all your, I would be up to... So five defense up. Okay. I don't know. That's not that much, actually. I guess it depends how much of a glass cannon you want to be. Okay, so I replaced our regular furnace with the health forge. Well, if you want, you can take my platinum set, and I'll go with meteorite if Phil doesn't want it. All right. Yeah, I just made my star cannon. I need to reforge mine because I got a really terrible modifier. Yeah, new sound. <laughs> so I guess we probably just want to 
work on fighting Queen Bee then? Yeah, I'm trying to tunnel my way to the hive again okay. to create one that's from the uh, pylon. Okay. It's a long ways to go. It'll be a lot of blasting. Uh, did you happen to get a Bezoar at any point? You want to move out of that? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know if that is. Okay, it's something that you get from the Hornets, I think. Or maybe it's from any underground or jungle enemy. Ideally, we might all want Bezoars for the Queen Bee fight, because um, she has poison. And uh, I think I do have one. Okay, because yeah, Bezoar protects you from poison. Yeah, I've got one. Where are you? I just went down the tree. There's always a chest at the bottom of the inside of the tree. <laughs> so that's where I went. Yeah, so if you equip your Bezoar, you won't get poisoned. I keep forgetting about that. Give me a second. Very useful item when you're in the jungle. Really only when you're in the jungle. Baby shark, when it's in the water, it gets out of its bubble and swims. <laughs> oh, fairy was telling me about a life crystal. Got a chest. Alright. Couldn't loot it because bees came after me. Does anybody still need a band of regeneration? I think we already have a couple in there. Back at the base. But... Oh, hey, it's a hive. Hey. Nice. Huh, okay, so... Uh, does anyone have inventory space? Because I've got a ton of shit I don't really want. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a similar problem. In fact, I can't even pick up that mud block right now. If we have enough wormhole potions, we could just take turns beaming back. I've got one, so I can come back. Meanwhile, I can just drain some of this water and make my way into the hive. Oh, I've got five wormhole potions. Okay, nice. Now, this is not a very big hive. Yeah, careful because the larva's right there. Are you getting hive blocks right now? No, I'm just trying to carve out a little space near the top of the hive so that we have room to dodge if we do fight the TV here. I mean, we don't have to fight her in the hive, technically. Right, I'm just going to warp back to base and dump some of this stuff. I just thought since I have several uh, gravity potions, I may as well make use of them while I'm up here. Yeah, so Tom, I can make the uh, beam nation to summon the queen if we get one more honey block. Okay. Well, I have... Yeah, I dropped a bunch of those off at the base, too. I have three on you. Okay, I'll just make one if someone can give me so give me them. Sure. Alright, so I have an, an beam nation now, so we can summon the queen beam whenever we want. Right. So in that case, we'll want to find like as good an area as we can for for actually fighting her. Hmm, I just got another Star Fury. Wow, this floating island is really close to the ground. Am I still holding you as a spot by the honey? Uh, yeah, I guess I thought that you guys would be down there a while, so I decided to go explore the sky with the gravitation potions, but I was planning on coming back. Um, well, we don't have to anymore because we can just build our arena wherever we want. Okay. So I'll stay around, but I, I'll keep exploring a bit slow. Okay. Yeah, because you can find... Um, it would be good if we all got Bezoars, which are a drop, I think, from Hornets. I'm surprised I haven't found any lucky horseshoes. Alright, so I've made a very long platform in the jungle. Nice. So, Paul, you're still working on that arena? Yep. Oh, I found an unconscious man. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. he only shows up after 
Uh, we defeat the Eater of Worlds, so... Right, so he, he's the barkeeper, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, so that also gives us an option for an event we can do, too. I should uh, use the proper torches for this biome around here, since I brought a bunch with me for that reason and then forgot about it. Do you want another lair, Tom, or do you think three is good enough? Yeah, three is probably pretty good, I guess. That means you're pretty much set then, aside from, uh, unless you want to do the torches, and then... I'm assuming nobody fished, we don't have ability to make defense potions. No, <laughs> haven't bothered yet. Yay. I found a really big honey place, uh, and I almost dropped lava in it, but one block <laughs> stayed, so we're good. Yay. <laughs> it's like one block that protects it from being, you know, full of lava. Nice. Alright, an additional 270 frostburn arrows, that should help. Okay, so are we ready? I think I am. Uh, I'm coming back. I'm here. Hooray. You ready? Yeah. I've literally never fought her above ground. <laughs> wow, is it just me or is she really fast now? <laughs> she is very fat. I did uh, have a couple of people say that they were having a lot of trouble with her on expert or on master mode. Yeah. So if anybody dies, <laughs> you're gonna want to quickly work to the jungle pylon. Damn. She got buffed. That swoop move is new. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. But she usually did like the overhead thing and the uh, side swipe thing. Okay. I think she likes me. Let's try to live for a little bit. Damn it, it's 30 I've got seconds too. Six more seconds. Okay. Yeah, if you can get back in time before they die, at least you won't respawn. Uh, defeat the current threat before you can use the pile on that. Oh, damn, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Should move her bed to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get right on that. Because now's the time, right? Absolutely. So you guys just try to live for a bit. Everything will be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna run a lot. Okay, I'm coming. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Did you move the bed? Not yet. I mean, you'll have to probably make your way to it anyway to set your spawn there. In the meantime, if there are any, I don't know if there are any, uh, wormhole potions still. Oh. Yeah, I know, I just thought of it as I was running all the way there. Yeah, I just okay. tried. Uh, I'm there. Okay. I am also there. Hooray. Okay, I'm almost to the house. So her charge move, they've changed a little bit, because she used to go straight horizontal, now she actually moves a bit vertical on it. Yeah, I think, uh, oh, like. uh, seriously, the NPCs are standing in front of the bed I just placed. Uh, guide, now is not the time. I don't want to talk to you. Please move. <laughs> I'm back. Try to survive. All right, so I, I set the bed in the houses underneath. But you guys will need to, I think you need to right-click on the foot of the bed. All right, I'm back in the fight. 
Oh, Possibly just in pack. time. <laughs> well, my arrows are running as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, past desert pylon. He's taking turns at who she charges at. Okay, so I need to really try to kite right now. <laughs> Set your spawn point before you join the fight here. Damn it! I should have done that. He's on me right now. I can't. <laughs> spawn point is set. Ray. I'm still alive so far. Back. Using all of my movement tapping skills. <laughs> Spawn point set. Boom. Ray. Also set. Ray. Right. You get so used to those pylons. <laughs> it's like, oh, they'll be there and available all the time, right? Funny, sometimes I forget about them completely, and then other times it's like, you just assume they're gonna work. <laughs> Alright, we might just survive and win this. Well, I have to get so close to hit her with this spike. <laughs> I actually did run out of Prosper and Arrows. <laughs> Right side, Jester's arrows are faster moving. I don't want to waste my stars, I want to save those for skills. <laughs> she is super fast now. <laughs> yeah. Well, and this might be one of those things like a lot of the expert and presumably, well, by extension, Master Moon. Um, Bosses get fast near the end. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, that was my last man to reach into. God, she's she's doing a I have Cthulhu style almost constant charge for a bit there. There goes me. Dead. Eleven seconds. Come on, Tom. You gotta survive for a little while. Five. Four. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I got her. <laughs> nice job, nice. Tom. <laughs> wow, that was close. <laughs> I had like twenty health left. <laughs> oh man. I probably should use just your arrows in hindsight. Well, the question is, do you guys still get your treasure bags if you were not alive? I saw one drop. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Excellent. Also, I think we've started a graveyard biome. Yeah, I started uh, getting those. Uh, yeah, guys. I saw it starting to turn gray as we were fighting her. Yeah, I was harvesting tombstones during the fight towards the end there. Nice. Oh, here comes a ghost. Oh, good. I got my bee's knees. Nice. Ghosts are no longer really <laughs> Yeah, they're not, not that big a deal anymore. Yeah, by the way, um, speaking of Queen Bee, I'm going to want some of the stuff because I was planning on being a summoner, so uh, I kind of need... You would like a bee shirt? 
Uh, well, vanity stuff doesn't really matter, but... I'm gonna hold on to my hive pack for now, Tom, just because I'm gonna use the bow for a bit. Yeah, that's fine. I think we should all get a hive pack. Yeah, we should all get the hive pack. Oh, wow, I got honey goggles. Uh, that's pretty rare. I got a bee gun. So I can fly. <laughs> nice, you can fly. I have a, a flying bee. It only flies for a certain amount of time, but... Oh, nice. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. I shoot bees now. <laughs> yeah, what weapon did I get? Get him, boy. Ooh. I get a baby hornet. Oh, yeah, I got that too. Excellent. <laughs> oh, and I got the bee gun. Nice. Actually, Phil, I should give... Maybe I should give you the bee gun? I don't know. I have one. Okay. Oh, you got a bee gun too? Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so wear your hive pack and use the bee gun. It's really powerful as a combination. <laughs> so the unfortunate thing with the bee bow is that if I don't shoot wooden arrows, it doesn't make the bee. Yeah, yeah. The other thing is I think they actually nerfed it a little bit. Oh, oh wait, I do have a beekeeper. Oh, nice. I didn't even realize that. That's awesome. It, it's like it almost picked the weapon that each of us needed. <laughs> That's great. We, yeah, we've had really good luck, actually. Oh, yeah. Phil's uh, bees are doing excellent work. <laughs> yeah, the bees are fantastic. Yeah, they really are. So, Phil, um, that's what you'll be using for the rest of pre-hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going to be doing a lot of damage with those bees. Okay, and save your bee nades. We're going to need them later. I don't think I got any. Either that or I must have left him back there. Yeah, now we may be able to craft more uh, beast bee needs, but... Damn it. Uh, okay, yeah, I need the bee set. So. Lots of stars fall. Okay, so I may need uh, some of your beeswax. Because, yeah, I need to set the... I need to make the bee armor, because I wanted to be a summoner, so... I've been waiting um, for this beeswax. moment. Is in the material. Okay, thank you. Oh. Okay, did you guys get this one? <laughs> what is that? The sparkling honey summons a cute little bee. <laughs> no, mine summons a little hornet. Nice. Oh, sir, I did not get the honey, but I actually did get the grenades. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got the cute bee too. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I, I think maybe it's new. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's, it says master. So I guess it's an exclusive master mode uh, pet. So yeah, so mine's nectar and it summons a baby. Which try to kill your bee now. Right. But my bee is too cute to die. Okay, let's see if I can now. Oh yeah, I need to make my bee greaves. Now I also need, yes, Hornet Staff. I'm officially a summoner. Congratulations. Thank you. So I can have a bunch of these guys now. <laughs> See, Phil has magic bees that are going to kill everyone. Oh, hey, someone else just arrived. Yeah. Yeah, the Witch Doctor. You always get the Witch Doctor after uh, defeating Queen Bee. Got enough diamonds to do my robe now. Oh, awesome. I am diamond robe. Hey, everybody. So that is the end of another episode. But don't forget, if you want to see us playing other games for fun, check out our second channel, Mass Distract Gaming. And don't worry, there's lots more coming in this series. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.